Hey collective, it's Goddess Puff. Let's jump into your reading for all zodiac signs. Message for all zodiac signs. Mint, clarity. So something about mint chocolate chip. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing this. Move the phone. Something about mint flavored something, but just a lot of clarity for you. Parsley, death, Scorpio energy. So there's going to be like, I'm getting Phoenix energy with that card. A major ending and a new beginning. Clarity is coming when, it, um, when you end something. So clarity could be coming for you to end something, but after an ending, there's clarity. So either way, there's clarity and an ending here clothes, gossip. So some gossip could be giving you clarity. You could overhear some gossip that gives you clarity. That's what I instantly got. Dandelion wishes. Nine of cups. So you could have been indecisive about an ending, but I feel like some clarity comes. Either you make the ending first and then you get some, you hear, overhear some gossip that gives you clarity or you overhear the gossip and that gives you clarity to end something. Of course, I wouldn't tell you to just listen to any gossip. I hear, I feel like you overhear something that confirms something for you. You could also overhear, I feel like whatever this gossip is that you're overhearing, it's bringing you a fulfillment of wishes. So it's either confirming you or leading you towards something. Nutmeg, luck. Yeah, it's by a stroke of luck that you overhear a conversation that directly correlates to what you're going through right now. You're about to get some major clarity about an ending, a change in your life through some gossip, something that you just happen to overhear. This is like a wish fulfillment. So say for instance, you were asking the divine God, whoever you believe in, you were praying or just asking out loud, like, give me a sign, give me a sign. And then all of a sudden you hear a radio go off, a newspaper flies, or you overhear someone on the phone, the radio, or just someone talking, or someone just comes up to you. However it is, right, it's like right after or the same day or within the same week, you get an answer from an unlikely or random source. And it feels like they're answering your question directly. It could even be this reading as confirmation. But I feel like outside of this reading, you're going to hear an answer out there somewhere, wherever you are. <laughs> All right, let's get into your other deck for the collective. Message for the collective. All zodiac signs. Yeah, because I feel like this reading is just going to be confirmation after you've already heard that message, that clarity that's confirming what you were asking. The universe. Protest. Start a revolution. 28. This card has, it just keep coming out. So as a whole, the collective is setting an example for the people around them because you're going through a major change. Of course, this change is going to be different for everyone, but regardless, you're going through a major shift and change for you and your character as a person and your life in general, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, there is a major change in your life. And I feel like you going forward with this change and reaching your goals and making your wishes come true is what is setting the example for the people around you. So with protest started revolution, this is like you making a change for those around you. But what's different for you is you changing is what's setting the tone for others, paving the way for others. Yeah, you have 11, sun, paint the sun back into your sky by you simply making that change, by you simply being the change you want to see, you set the example. You don't have to do nothing but change yourself and other people will follow suit because you're going to be successful at it. First of all, you simply doing this is setting the tone for others and making them feel like, okay, I can do it too. But you're also going to be successful at it. With luck as the overall energy and wishes, you have 17 flower. Be honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself, maybe you haven't been happy for a while. Now, that's the first thing I heard. You haven't been happy for a while with something. And that's the honesty there. And then it's time for you to paint the sun back into your sky. Do things that's going to make you happy. Maybe you try to shift away from your way of like happiness or the way you like to do things. Maybe you thought something was outdated or childish. But I feel like you're realizing that what you've been doing has just been hindering you. So now you're switching it up. 
35, sharks swim away from this situation. Whether it's a person, place, thing, habit, pattern, mindset, something you've been doing has been to your detriment. And that's what you have to be honest with yourself about. Because this card is about you having to leave a situation now before it becomes dire or detrimental. He's a shark and she's a fish. Like this card, this, this card ain't nothing to play with. Out of this whole deck right here, that's the card that's nothing to play with. So you need to leave that situation ASAP before it ends you. Overall energy is 21, Clover, release your guilt. You better not, when that car comes out, you better not feel guilty for whatever you're leaving. Because if you don't leave, it'll destroy you. When this car comes out, if you don't leave a situation, it will destroy you. So yeah, it says overall energy, Clover, release your guilt. So this is like, don't feel guilty. Because if you stayed, you would have destroyed yourself. Whether it's creatively, intuitively, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. Yeah. And and I feel like you're being honest with yourself anyway. With the flower, be honest with yourself and clarity. All right, let's get into your other deck for the collective. I don't play no games when this card come out. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> All right. All Zodiac time. And it tells you not to feel guilty about it. That's your spirit team, your guides, whoever you believe in telling you up out of there. <laughs> Seven, stand your ground. Yeah, period. Period. Because let me pull, I'm going to pull the actual book for that card. Because that card is not playing. <laughs> Give me one second. And um, that deck is this deck right here, Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace. Thirty-five. Bear with me. <laughs> it's a shark. Swim away from the situation. Think of this card as the lovers reverse from traditional tarot. You've been hanging around a bloodthirsty shark and they've hurt you before. This could refer to a lover or it could refer to another loved one, such as a friend or family member. To put it simply, you deserve better treatment and you're never going to find it with them. Again, <laughs> they didn't say again, but I'm going to say it. And you're never going to find it with them. Leave now. Situations like this often grow so dire that you no longer feel safe swimming away. And that's the shark here. That's why I don't play around when I pull this card. That is exactly why I don't play around. I just had to show y'all so y'all can see why I was taking that card so serious. Because like, I don't want to trigger no one, but this could be for some like an abusive relationship. So that's why I don't play around when I pull that card. And then it has seven stand your ground. And this could go for work too. Like if someone's trying to use an abuse of power, it's telling you to stand your ground. And two, intuition, trust your intuition. Because someone does not have to be, you know, physically abusing someone. This could be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. It's multiple different ways someone could be trying to take advantage of a person. Two, sacral chakra. Yeah, your intuition. I feel like in you staying around this person is going to drain you of your fire, your confidence, your creativity. And I know it's easier said than done to tell someone to leave an unhealthy situation because of, you know, trauma bonds and, and fear and things like that. But I feel like with a seven, stand your ground. Stand your ground. I feel like you have the necessary skills and tools to leave this person. And I feel like this person's a bitch. They're bitch made anyway. Anyone who do anything like, you know, abusive, toxic, they're a bitch anyway. Because I feel like this is the type of person who would never do this in the front of a crowd. They would never. But with spirit telling you to stand your ground, they wouldn't tell you that if you couldn't do it. Stand your ground, take legal action, or just leave this person and trust your intuition. Of course, tell others about it. And then sacral chakra, your fire, your confidence, and then... Patience and planning, seven. So I know for, I'm reading from multiple people. So everybody's situation isn't as serious or as scary as others. So, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. But I feel like regardless of what level 
you're dealing with when it comes to this type of person. Spirit is telling you you have everything you need to stand your ground against this person. Trust your intuition, patience, and planning to get away from them. I feel like you need to plan ahead and then get away from this job. You know, have another job lined up, person, place, thing, whatever it is, have another thing lined up. And then you're out of there because I feel like this person wants to take away your fiery, attractive, confident, and creative energy of that sacral chakra, your intuition. But I feel like they can't anyway, and you're also standing your ground. You're not playing with this person. Overall energy is too the waiting game. Maybe you had to play the waiting game until everything was in order for you to get away from them as well. So because some of you are in a, I don't know why I'm hearing preliminary. What is the definition of preliminary? Because I heard preliminary period so quickly. So let me look up the the exact di uh, definition. Sorry, it is 1.20 a.m. I don't think that's the meaning I'm thinking it is, but I'm looking up. Preliminary, denoting an action or event proceeding or done in preparation for something fuller or more important. So yeah, no, I was right. <laughs> the preliminary period. Never mind, I was actually correct. So this is like a preliminary period for you until things are set in stone and in order. And Spirit's telling you to release your guilt. And I feel like they're telling you to release your guilt because someone's getting in trouble. Whoever was trying to play with you, the the book is coming down on this person. That may be why you're feeling guilty because this person knows how to make people feel guilty because when the light is shown on them and they're exposed and legal action is taken towards them or when they're facing punishment, this person is truly weak. They show how weak they truly are. And I don't even think you feel bad for them. You just pity them. But release your guilt for this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> all right, let's get into the tarot. For all zodiac signs. Message for all zodiac signs. Queen of Swords, and that's the energy, and that's the action you've taken on this. No sympathy for these holes. No sympathy. But you could also be dealing with an air sign. You could be an air sign. Anywhere in your chart, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. And then you have the Clarity card here. First card that came out. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Single, solid, stable, abundant, financially independent energy. Independent of this person's energy. Seeing yourself clearly, standing in your power, seeing your truth. Someone's very afraid of that. Someone is very afraid of that. And again, it does not have to be like a love relationship. This could be a boss who was benefiting off of you relying on them, trying to keep you boxed in. Three of Cups, celebration, you being free of this person and celebrating a payout or independence of this financially, especially. Because I'm seeing you get like some increase in finances and just feeling very independent. Four of Cups, something you did not see at first. Three of Cups, you could be disinterested in a reconciliation after separating yourself. Yeah, the world, completion, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles, I knew it. There's some type of payout here for you. A new stable beginning in abundance. It could be a new job, a pay increase, a raise. If you're going to any legal court system or something like that with a person, you're getting some type of payout. You keep your job or you keep some finances. You win. You get a victory. You get justice in a situation, especially if it's work. Over energy is the eight of pentacles. You get that nine of pentacles. You get that ace of pentacles. Clarity. I feel like you speak your truth. You stand up for yourself. You're very logical. I heard it very methodic. But you celebrate this nine of pentacles. Freedom from a contract and financial independence and increase. I don't know if you're getting a new job, a payout, or a pay raise, but it's going to you. You're going to be celebrating this ending and completion. But I feel like you're just taking a, a, that, like the, I said, preliminary, the waiting game, patience and planning. All right, so let's clarify. This is especially when it comes to your career and finances. And I, it's telling you to sort of release your guilt because you are going to have a victory in the situation while someone else is going to be down bad. 
You even had wishes here. Clarifying the Queen of Swords is a page of wands. New ideas, new inspiration, spark, creativity, the Patreon. I feel like you're getting it all from within. I feel like your mirror was clouded. It was foggy with the Patreon. Like it has clouds in this mirror. But it's made clear to you. Clarifying the Queen of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. Clarifying the Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity about past disappointments. Yeah, mental traps. You felt stuck in the past. You felt stuck in these past disappointments or failures. But with the um, Eight of Swords clarifying the Ace of Swords, you're seeing it clearly. Because the Eight of Swords is a mental trap. You're not actually stuck. It's a self-imposed prison. But you're coming up out of that. And I feel like the only reason you were in a mental trap, Eight of Swords, is because you were still grieving the past, still stuck in a past disappointment or situation. But you, you see clearly now and you're coming out of that. I also feel like... You took on too much of the credit for a failure. It wasn't all your fault. <laughs> Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles is a Seven of Wands. Standing up for yourself, defending your financial independence. I feel like standing up for yourself also makes you more independent, but also standing up for your financial independence. Ace of Wands. Confidence, um, fire, ambition, creativity, that sacral chakra energy. You have three aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying the Three of Cups is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone may try to reconcile with you. It's this person that you're severing ties with. You're walking right the hell away. And I feel like what's crazy is you could have tried to reconcile with them. You could have tried to make amends. You could have tried to break even. You could have tried to make things fair and equal when they had chance. Then you took legal action. They saw they wasn't winning the situation. Now they want to reconcile. Now they want to be buddy, buddy. Fuck this person. <laughs> Yep, Seven of Swords. And them trying to reconcile is deceptive anyway. Them trying to reconcile is them being deceptive anyway because they realize they're losing. They've lost. They realize they're not going to win whatever this is, whether it's an actual legal situation or you just standing your ground, protecting your energy and walking away. They realize they're going to get the short end of the stick anyway. So they're trying to, they're going to try to be deceptive, lying, cheating, stealing. But I also feel like this is you having patience and planning ahead. And then you have the stand your ground card here with seven. And you have the seven of wands, which is the same card. Now you're walking away from a deceptive ass piece of shit. And then you have the six of swords, clarifying the four of cups. Letting go, moving to karma walks after you've been overlooked. And you're just disinterested in this person now in general. Seven of pentacles. You're no longer interested in investing in this person. Maybe this person lost interest in you and ignored you. And I feel like you're letting that go. It's like, it's crazy because this person could have ignored you, lost interest in you, stopped investing in you. But the moment you walk away and the moment you start advancing because this person sees that you're going to outgrow them, all of a sudden they give a fuck. But you're you're just, it's too late now. You, you're walking away emotionally, mentally, physically. You're just interested. You're letting it go and you're investing elsewhere. And what's funny is you're genuinely doing it. You are genuinely doing it. You're not playing any mind games. You've just made clear with yourself. You're being honest with yourself. It's time to make that change. Death card and protest. Painting the sun back into your sky. And then clarity. This person's freaking ridiculous. Clarifying the world is the star. Aquarius healing after completion. The chariot cancer moving forward. Actually physically moving for some of you. And just in general. So many cards of movement, eight of cups, six of swords, the chariot, clarifying the ace of pentacles is the five of swords. This person could have tried to criticize this new job you were having. Like maybe you got this offer before, or maybe this person heard about this offer and they try to criticize like, oh, you're not going to get that job or they don't give you a lot of money or they're only giving you this because of this. They try to criticize your new beginning. They in your pockets with their broke ass, two of swords. They try to criticize it to temporarily block it you may have gotten this before and this person criticized it to slow it down or stop you from getting it yeah this hating ass person trying to criticize this ace of pentacles in order to pause and block you from taking it overall energy is the queen of wands but you're going to take it anyway yeah and that sacral fiery energy is it obvious that i can't stand this person <laughs> All right, final message for the collective. Bitch ass nigga. I cannot stand this person. <laughs> Whoo.
just reminded me of that cypher. No, it's a freestyle. When Gold Link dissed um, Shaq West and he was like doing the Harlem Shake and he called him a bitch ass nigga. That's the energy I'm feeling right here. <laughs> Healing, 37. Gratitude, 36. 12, affection. 25, cleansing. Overall energy is 10, ritual. So you could, you are definitely healing with the star here. And then you have the healing card. Then you have gratitude, affection, being affectionate with yourself. Some of you could have a new person and there's a lot of affection there. Or you could have a pet. There's a lot of affection there. But I see overall you are healing and showing a lot of gratitude for your process and being able to heal and move forward and stand up for yourself. Cleansing out this old energy. I feel like you have a ritual of healing and cleansing and gratitude. Whether it's a journal, a prayer, or whatever it is you do. You have a ritual. You've turned healing, gratitude, affection, and cleansing into a ritual. And I feel like there's just a temporary waiting game. That two of swords. Temporary. But you are in that fiery energy of standing your ground and patience and planning. So in the swords, strategy. It's a win for you. And don't feel guilty. Because with the way you're going... This person's about to get fucked up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.